Welcome to another session from LearnHowToReason.com. My name is Matt, and this is our 7 Minutes to Learn Reason 7 video series. All right here and all right now. Let's get to it. Parallel processing. We can now do parallel processing in Reason. How awesome is that? Parallel processing is an integral part of making the most amazing mixes that you possibly can and you hear them all the time on the radio because that's what all the pros do with their huge SSL mixers all over the world probably mainly in the United States and it pretty much started in Motown but anyways this is how they get those big amazing mixes on the radio they use parallel processing and now we have it in reason. So let me show you how it works. It's so easy. Check this out. I've got myself a Dr. Octorex right there. No problem. You can hear it. Doesn't sound bad. But what we want to do is manipulate this sound and not have to just have our minds be tweaked and blown apart trying to figure out how to do it on one track. What we're going to do now is we're going to right click on the track right here and we're going to create a parallel channel. And what this does is it creates a, an exact duplicate of this channel. And this is the beauty of parallel processing. Let's solo this track. Okay. Now, before parallel processing, if I wanted to bring out just the highs of this, this, this uh, drum beat, I would just go in there to the high pass filter and, you know, I would tweak it. But then when I want to do maybe bring out the lows, then it's going to, I'm going to go up there and try and tweak that. And then it's pretty soon my, the whole sound is going to get, well, for better words, bad. Not a good bad, but a really bad bad. It's going to sound like crap. It's, it's going to be really tough to get that mix. So, what we have here, let's bring out the highs of this drum beat. Let's emphasize the highs of this drum beat on this track. So, we're going to solo it. Press play. And I'm just going to go up here to the high pass filter. Okay, let's bring this all the way down and let's let's ease this into the the mix of this uh, drum beat and see what we got. Hear the difference? And that's what the track sounds like soloed. Okay, let's let's bring in let's let's go in and get the base of this track, the lows. So I'm gonna right click. Now, okay, now one thing you have to understand is if you go to the original and you right click, create parallel the parallel channel is gonna be grayed out. What you need to do is make a parallel off your last parallel. And just know that this parallel channel is still an exact duplicate of the original, not the one you just created it off. That's how you do it. It's pretty simple. Let's solo this and get the, let's bring out the bass. The kick. We'll go to the low, the low pass filter. Let's get the gate in there. Let's, let's turn the compression on. Let's crunch it a bit. Okay, let's get the gate in there to take out all the highs that we hear. So 
So we're just hearing that thumpy. Okay. Pretty simple. That's what we have there. Okay, let's turn this down and then ease it into the mix. Okay, here's our original. And here's our paralleled sound. Pretty cool, huh? That is the secret. I'm telling you, it's a secret of the pros. Parallel processing. Get into it. Use it. You can add effects. You can mess around with reverbs, choruses. You can use it on vocals. Do a recording. Try and get the best original recording you can in time and everything. And then just parallel process that track to perfection. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.